In this video, you will get to know how to import the tabular data from the web page into the Google Sheet using app scripts. To start the procedure, first, we'll go to the Google search bar. Search for top 100 richest people in the world and we'll open the second link. As you can see, we've taken the tabular format data to import it into the Google Sheet. Now, we'll take a Google Sheet, open it up, and afterward we'll provide it with a desired name. Here we'll click on the Extension option and then click on the App Script button. As you can see, here the source code function has been opened, so we'll paste the App Script code here. You can take the App Script code from the description of the video as we've put the link there. Now we will give a name to the project, web page to Google Sheet. Here in the App Script function, you can see that we have three options to import a web page into a Google Sheet. First, through the domain name means you have to copy the URL of the web page from which you want to import the data. And then replace that domain name as the substitute of www.example.com. The second one is the filter values. You can use this importing method in case you want to import the required value since it allows you to fetch the entire row based on a single value. For this, you just have to copy any field value of the row and paste it into the inverted commas. Consequently, all cells of the row or the entire row will be imported automatically. And the last method is column index, as its name reveals it does import the column so you just have to put the column number in the bracket. So, here we'll copy the URL of our tabular format data page and replace it with the www.example.com. Here we'll save the project by clicking on the Save option, and then we'll click on the Run option. Now, click on the Review Permission option. As you can see, here we will sign in to our email address by clicking on the Allow option. Once it's done, you can see that the execution process has been started in the execution log, which will take just a few seconds to get complete. As you can see all the data has been imported from the web page to the Google Sheet. Here in the Google Sheet, all the data is getting imported gradually that include 100 rows and 4 columns. For confirmation, we'll go back to the web page and check out that web page has also the same quantity of data as has been imported there. Now, we'll apply the second method called, filter values, for testing purposes. For this, we'll take the France name from the country column and place it in the inverted commas of the filter values in the app script. Here we'll go back to the sheet and delete all the saved data for making space. Now, in the app script, we'll repeat the previous process by clicking on the save project option, and later on the run option. Once you click on the Run option you can see that the execution process has been started. As you can see here, all columns with the France name have been imported into the Google Sheet. We'll move towards the Column Indexes option where you can import the data desired column number. For this, we'll put the 0 and 1 column numbers in the bracket of the column indexes and we'll delete the data from the Google Sheet for making space. Now, we'll repeat the process again by clicking on the Save Project option and then clicking on the Run button. As you can see, the first and the second column of the data has been imported into the Google Sheet. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.